You might think this model on the screen is going to be some like crazy basic beginner's tutorial, but I'm actually going to show you a pretty tricky situation that uh, you can't easily solve in a polygon software. So I'm going to make this video quick, stick around, uh, this will help you in your own projects. So I had somebody ask me, hey Josh, I had a shape like this and I wanted to bevel this area and I wanted to bevel this area. But when you do that, so basically I'll just draw this out so you understand, they wanted to bevel this portion here and they also wanted to bevel this area here. They basically wanted, you know, something like this, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So again, if I try to bevel it this way, it's not gonna work. If I try to bevel just one, now I can't bevel this one, it's a pain in the ass. So in Blender, you have to think outside the box. You can't just rely on the, the nature of polygon software. I'm gonna show you two easy ways to accomplish this. The first one is the quickest and the most straightforward. What I would do is I would physically disattach these faces here. I would take these two and press P to separate by selection. And then I would go to this one and I would press P to separate by selection as well. Now we have these physically ripped off, so if I bevel this one, it's going to bevel independently of this one because they're not attached, right? So I can actually go in here, I can select both of these at the same time, or I can do one at a time, and now they're going to bevel like differently, or in the different directions, right? So I can go ahead, I can bevel that. Now all you need to do is you need to go back in here, press Control J to join everything together, and once we join them, we're going to have overlapping vertices. So just select everything, um, merge by distance. And at this point, we just have to patch this up. I can press the F key to fill those two in. And then I can fill this in manually. And then I can fill this in manually as well, just like that. Now, if I try to dissolve this out, it's not going to work. And if I try to use a limited dissolve, that's not going to work as well. That's because we basically just created non-manifold geometry. So what I'm going to do here is go to the 3D print toolbox add-on. This comes with Blender. You just have to enable it in the preferences. You go here, preferences, go to add-ons, 3D prints. It might be under get extensions. I don't remember. Just install that. Go to check all, go to non-manifold edges, and then click on under cleanup, click on make manifold. Now you can actually go in here and uh, dissolve these out with control X. And there you go. That's how I would accomplish that. Another way which you could do, and this is probably for more advanced situations, you could actually do this by using something called rip vertices. So I'm gonna undo everything and show you how to do that. So again, same issue. I would really recommend doing it the first way. That's the quickest way to do it. But you could also go in here and you could bevel, or before you bevel it, you could rip off these vertices with control V. You're gonna go to rip vertices and now if I try to bevel this area, it's only gonna bevel along that edge. So I could actually go in, bevel that. I'll just put this to like 0.5. Then at this point, you go to limited dissolve. You join these up with a J key. Um, actually, before I do that, I have to reattach this area. That's why I'm saying this process is longer, a bit more advanced, but you would add in a vertex here. You would press M and then merge at last. And now I can join this together. And then at this point, I would have to physically, let me do, um, let me merge by distance here as well. So these are connected, M, merge by distance. And again, not gonna work. So what I need to do here is I now need to press Control V and rip these vertices as well so I can bevel independently of the other one. So I would do that, set this to 0.5. And then I just have to go in here. I have to fill in this portion and again, just go back to the 3D print toolbox, check all, non-manifold edges, click on make manifold. You can dissolve this out. And that's another easy way to accomplish the same exact thing. You can limit it dissolve to get rid of that junk as well. And there you go, same exact result, just took a bit longer. So this is obviously one of the downsides of a polygon-based modeling software. So this is kind of how you would work around that. It's very easy to do, and the only limitation here is you can't really add a bevel modifier. It's just gonna overlap too quickly. So in this case, I would either leave it just with no bevel or I would use a bevel shader if you do need a bevel. So really quick and easy solution. I know that looks difficult you know, when you're trying it on your own, but it's a very simple solution if you just think outside the box. 
Now guys, if you're brand new to Blender and you wanna learn our entire hard surface modeling workflow in under two weeks, just like thousands of students have done at this point, this program is gonna get you very, very good at Blender in a very, very short period of time. It's gonna take you about two weeks with 30 to 60 minutes a day of work, so you could complete it quicker if you'd want. And we're gonna show you our entire hard surface modeling workflow, all the way from the basics to your first completed project, just like thousands of students have done here, like you can see on the screen. So if you wanna stop wasting time with tutorials and just wanna learn our full workflow as quickly as possible, so you can start working on your own projects, check out our accelerator program in the link in the top of the description. Anyways, hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.